Airmen at Hill Air Force Base behind bars tonight accused of setting explosions at a military base in Syria. The blast injured four service members, including himself. New specialist Mike Anderson has details from a hearing today that could set him to be tried at a court martial. Extremely unusual to have an insider attack within the U.S. military, which is why these charges are being taken very seriously. Tech Sergeant David Deswan trained in disposing of explosives. Instead, prosecutors believe that he set up bombs and set them off. Tech Sergeant David Deswan, seen here in a training exercise, was supposed to be in Syria to help protect airmen and soldiers from explosives. But prosecutors say today he put two bombs together late one night near some showers and in an area where C4 grenades and other munitions were stored. Investigators say they found pictures on Deswan's phone of highly restricted classified documents and instructions on how to make the bombs in his internet history. Still, his defense attorneys say the prosecutors lack evidence to show that he was the one who set off the explosives. You've heard today that the government has no explanation why Tech Sergeant Deswan would blow himself up. That's the other piece, a lack of motive that attorneys say does not make sense. A GoFundMe page for defense costs set up by Deswan's family says, quote, This is not a man who would ever harm another American soldier or himself. He has proudly served our country for nearly a decade and a half. And now he is being driven into debt to protect himself from false accusations from his own government, end quote. In 2010, Deswan was awarded the Air Force Combat Action Medal. We anticipate that if it goes to trial, this will be a contested trial where we will seek to show that he's in fact not guilty of the charges. Prosecutors believe Deswan caused well over $40,000 in damage. And while he was one of the four injured, they say doctor's exams will show that his cuts were not consistent with shrapnel and may have been self-inflicted. An Air Force colonel is reviewing the evidence. He says he will take his time in deciding whether to recommend a court martial for Deswan, but we could hear something back in as soon as a week. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.